I just released a video recently on how No Man's Sky is truly an incredible game all these years later, and explained in that video how Hello Games and Sean Murray made up for their mistakes at launch by creating a truly amazing product. Now after waiting anxiously to hop into the new expansion, I've only gotten to play a couple hours as of now, but I wanted to give my first impressions and early thoughts on the new expansion beyond, as so far this DLC is truly going to amaze a lot of you. With the newest expansion Beyond marking the 3 year anniversary of No Man's Sky, it's fitting that this is by far the largest expansion yet, and one of the biggest additions I've seen added to any game this generation, as it massively expands the multiplayer, implements virtual reality for truly next level immersion, overhauls base building, and so much more. So with that said, let's get right into the 3 core pillars of the DLC. You can now play the entirety of the game in VR, and switch seamlessly between normal and VR gameplay. The ship cockpits have been beautifully redesigned for more graphical detail. I have to say that this game is one of the best VR experiences yet, especially on console for PlayStation users. Unfortunately, some aspects of the using the jetpack in VR can be disorienting, and there's a teleportation system used while walking, but having your multi-tool always be on your right hand while managing your inventory on your left arm has helped streamline the crafting progress immensely and really makes it a lot more fun to do even mundane tasks. However, VR really comes alive and is almost worth the price of admission alone when you're driving around in vehicles, exploring the sea, and of course using spaceships. It takes two hands to steer the ship, pressing and pulling the throttle with your left hand and using a joystick for direction with your right, and the entire process is visceral in a way that only VR can provide. When you're racing over mysterious planets and out of the atmosphere in a tunnel of light and space dust, it's an absolutely fantastic feeling. When the hyperdrive clicks off and the galaxies finally come into focus, asteroids loom like mountainsides, and flying between them is smooth, thrilling, and profoundly peaceful. Everything seems impossibly large, and if No Man's Sky was always trying to convey the feeling of us being so small, yet connected to our massive surroundings by atoms and particles, well VR the way it's implemented here accomplishes just that. I know though, that not everyone has or can use VR, so let's take a look into the second pillar of the game that can be enjoyed by everyone. The multiplayer in this game has received an expansive overhaul across the game. Now on consoles, instead of being restricted to 4 players, the player count has been increased to 8, while on PC it's been increased to 32. So if you're on PC, the game is really starting to approach MMO light territory. Across all platforms though, the new social hub called the Nexus can host 16 players at once. This massive structure is a space anomaly, and can be summoned anywhere once you've encountered it. In the inside, it's beautifully lit, with a variety of neon underglows, and really looks like something you would see in a Tron game. There are also teleporters here, that will allow you to easily browse and visit each other's bases directly from the Nexus. As well as other teleporters, that will feature exceptional bases created by members of the No Man's Sky community, enabling you to see the best of the best. You can also initiate a large set of unique multiplayer missions here, and group up with friends or random players, to create a party before embarking on an adventure. Of course the multiplayer hasn't just simply received a number count boost and a social space, it's now seamless and ambient, meaning that you will see players out in the wild wherever you go. When you land on a planet, if someone's already there, now you'll see them. If you go to a space station and they're already there, you'll see them there as well. Basically now you can, and will, encounter players all over the universe doing their own task, and you can choose how you wish to interact with them. This update should make the universe of No Man's Sky feel much more alive than ever before. Alongside the world feeling more alive from expanded player counts and seamless player encounters, the NPCs have become much more dynamic as well. Now alien NPCs will finally walk around and interact with elements in their environment, as well as even roam around on planet surfaces, meaning you can gesture and converse with them and they will interact with you accordingly. This is great as this really helps the game feel much more alive, and can alleviate some feeling of solidarity at times. The creatures here can also now be tamed, baited, and then rode around, allowing you to experience planet exploration from an entirely new perspective. Tame creatures aren't just for riding though, as you can now peacefully harvest them for milk, eggs, and other organic goo to cook more than 300 newly added cooking recipes, which you can do in your new and improved bases. Bases can now be powered by biogenerators and solar panels, letting you fire up your own cool looking neon signs and displays. Sadly, I haven't done anything crazy yet due to not knowing how to make them work, but here's some gifts of what it's supposed to look like. 
Overall though, this third pillar of new additions in the DLC is basically just a huge list of small features that were requested by the community, including a massive visual ship enhancement, both in the detail of the ship, but also in the appropriate sizes for your spacecraft, as well as improvements again to the galaxy map, planetary charts, new tech trees for research and for your frigates slash freighters, gameplay rebalances allowing you to carry a significantly large amount of materials, mission and tutorial redesigns, new story content, optimization across the board, and so much more. Basically this update is just to make the world feel more alive, in terms of players and NPCs. Provide an in-game hangout area, define groups and serve as a place to turn in quests, for rewards and unique missions. And of course if you have VR, then this game is probably one of the best experiences yet, and you will be immersed on entirely new levels. This expansion makes the universe of No Man's Sky that much more fun and smooth to play in. It really is a very pretty game, with a gorgeous art style, an amazing soundtrack, and a relaxing experience that encourages you to explore this massive canvas and take in all the sights that you see in your journey, either alone or with seven other players in your decked out space squad. I will admit so far, I'm not sure if this DLC is large enough to feel like a sequel, as I'd still like to see alien civilizations added to planets, be able to fly freighters myself, or have them be destructible during battles, making it feel like a reimagining of the original Star Wars Battlefront 2. And I'd also like to see alien outposts on planets that you can take over and conquer like in the Far Cry games, or enter into peaceful terms with. However, these are just things I'd like to see, and at the end of the day, this game is easily a 9 out of 10 without any of those, almost reaching perfection, and for the price that No Man's Sky currently is, it'll be hard to find a better deal anywhere else on the market. Hello Games is truly offering exceptional value for your money here, that is beyond anything I've seen this generation, other than maybe The Witcher 3. If you have the game now, then I urge you to try out this new expansion, and if you don't, while well, they can be pleasantly surprised with just how amazing this game is. Unless you're purely a shooter fan or a deep narrative focused player, you'll probably find something here to enjoy, as there are so many ways to play and experience this game. And with the announcement that there is still more to come, I think Sean Murray and his team are truly solidifying the studio as a developer to keep an eye on, as they have the potential and the creativity to make amazing and unique games that serve as reminders as to why I love gaming. And I can't wait to see what the studio does next. Well that brings this video to a close, so let me know in the comments down below how you're enjoying the Beyond expansion, and what you'd like to see Hello Games add next. If you'd like to contact me about anything No Man's Sky related or otherwise, as well as stay updated on my videos, then go and follow my Twitter account link below. And if you want awesome perks, such as behind the scenes of my videos, involvement in the creation progress, mentions in the credits of my videos, and much more, then go and check out my Patreon below, and find a tier that fits you best. With that said, let's chat down in the comments. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, be sure to leave a like, share the video, and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you all on the next Shepard Gaming video. Keyless Alive.